Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Candy. If you're new here, welcome and I hope everyone is having a super blessed day. Now today in the kitchen, I will be showing you guys how to make the most delicious red snapper stew fish. But before we get started, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. And don't forget to like, share and comment. Now let's jump right into it. Okay guys, now let's take a quick look at the ingredients I'll be using. Here I have some potatoes and carrots. I have my red snapper that I've seasoned really well. And I'll be using some bell peppers, onions, some hot habanero peppers, tomatoes, green onions and cilantro, thyme, ginger, garlic, oyster sauce, tomato sauce, brown sugar, complete seasoning, black pepper, saison seasoning, and chicken bouillon. Okay guys, so here's how I season my fish. First, I wash it really well with lemon juice and vinegar. And at the store, we got the guy to take the skin off, you know, clean it up and stuff because my husband don't like the fish with the skin and the head and the eyes and all that stuff. So we got the fish fill it with everything off even though i'm guyanese and i'm used to eating the fish with the skin and the head and all that stuff i still have to cater for my husband because he doesn't like it and here i'll be using my green seasoning some old bay seasoning complete seasoning black pepper seafood seasoning garlic powder onion powder so basically what i did was add all the seasonings to the fish and massage it in really well and then i left it to marinate for about one to two hours guys you know as a guyanese we love to have our fish well seasoned with our green seasoning and stuff like that i cannot eat fish if it's not properly seasoned like i have to have it really well seasoned you know and for this recipe you need the fish to be seasoned well because we need to add layers of flavor to the dish and the first layer of flavor is seasoning your fish really well and then you know as we go on we keep adding flavors to the dish Next, we'll go ahead and coat our fish in some plain flour. I have some plain flour here in a Ziploc bag and I'll go ahead and coat the fish lightly with the flour and then we'll get ready to fry the fish. So here in my preheated oil, I will now add the fish and I will allow them to fry until they are golden brown. They should take about five minutes on each side. And once they are golden brown on one side, we'll now flip them and allow them to become golden brown on the other side. Now we'll remove the fish and we'll continue the same process until we're done frying them all. So here in my preheated wok, I did went in with about two tablespoons of oil and now I will add my brown sugar. I want this to caramelize a little so that it adds color and sweetness to the dish. So once the sugar starts to caramelize and it becomes dark brown in color, that's when you know it is ready and we can start adding the rest of our ingredients. Now you can also use brown in here or soy sauce, whatever brown sauce you have, you can use that in place of caramelizing your sugar. And now we will add our onions, peppers, we will add the tomatoes, the ginger and the garlic. 
we will mix it well and we will allow this to go for about three minutes just to soften up a bit Next, we'll add our tomato sauce and the oyster sauce. We will allow them to go for about a minute and a half. Now, we'll add our potatoes and carrots and we'll let these go for about five minutes. We want everything to absorb and marry well together before we add the water here. At this point, we will now add our seasonings to flavor this up a bit. And then we will add some hot water. You don't want to add cold water here because you don't want to mess with the cooking temperature. You want it to remain at a certain temperature. So you add hot water here and then we will add our thyme and peppers. We will cover and allow our potatoes and carrots to become tender. After about 10 minutes, we will now check to, you know, make sure nothing is sticking and we want to see if our potatoes are tender also. So we give it a little stir and I think the potatoes are still a little hard. It's not as soft as I'd like. So I let this go for about another 10 minutes. So after about a full 20 minutes, I think this is now ready. My potatoes are soft and what I like to do is go in and mash some of my potatoes. I like to mash them because I like that taste of, you know, like a, that gravy when the potatoes are mashed is just undefeated. Like that gravy when you mash some of the potatoes it's so so good so that's what I like to do and then I'll go in with my fish here at this point you can go and taste to make sure that it has enough you know flavor salt whatever you want to add you go now and you taste and you add whatever you want to add mine is perfect so I'm adding my fish now and we will cover this and allow the fish to simmer in here for about five minutes. You don't want to cook your fish too long, but you just want it to absorb that gravy, that sauce. So we let this go for about five minutes and then I'll be back with the finished product, guys. And the last thing we'll add here, guys, is our green onions and cilantro. And that's how I make a super delicious red snapper stew fish. It is so mouth-watering, guys. I cannot wait to just dig in. This will go well with some white rice, some dumplings, or even if you want to eat it with roti, it can go with anything. You know, it is super healthy and delicious. Okay guys, so I will be enjoying my stew fish with some white rice, a garden salad, and some avocados. You guys, if you try this recipe, I promise you will not be disappointed. It is super delicious and it is everything you would want in a stew fish. I do hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a thumbs up share it leave a comment down below let me know what you think and don't forget to hit that subscribe button i will leave all the ingredients down in my description box and i will see you guys in my next video enjoy